Greetings, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles. Valentine's Day is coming up. You may want to be a little bit naughty with your loved one and make some devil's food cupcakes. Ready? Let's get started. So for our ingredients for our devil's food cupcakes, we're going to need one and a quarter cups of cake flour, three whole eggs at room temperature, 10 tablespoons of butter, half a cup each of buttermilk and coffee, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a, table, or half a cup of uh, cocoa powder. I also have one teaspoon uh, of baking soda and one quarter teaspoon of baking powder, one and a half cups of sugar, and last but not least, a half a teaspoon of salt. So a mixing machine is gonna be really uh, important in order to make this uh, cupcake. This uh, particular mixing method you'll often wind up finding on larger cakes, and it's what bakers call a creaming mixing method. We're gonna need a mixer. You could even use a handheld mixer with your uh, beaters. We'll wind up working fine. With a stand mixer like this, you're gonna need your flat beater, which is called a paddle attachment. This guy is gonna wind up going into the mixer. Okay. Inside the bowl, we're gonna wind up taking our butter. You can even break it up a little bit because we want it to become a little bit on the creamy side. Gradually adding in our one and a half cups of sugar. Turn the mixer onto a slow speed to start. We're gonna gradually beat this together and as the butter starts to soften up, we can go ahead and really start to increase the speed. As the butter starts to get incorporated with the sugar, the butter will actually start to get a really white color. And what we're trying to do uh, from a baking perspective is actually get little tiny pockets of air beaten into the butter via the sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and take my dry ingredients and sift them together. Cake flour, soda and powder, cocoa, and last, our salt. Sifting is really important to help blend all the ingredients together. Once our sugar gets creamed, in the same fashion that I gradually added in the sugar into the mixer, it's really important that the eggs be added in one at a time because the butter can only absorb the eggs at a certain rate. Having the eggs out of the shell really allows you to just go ahead and pour. Once the yolk drops in, let it beat around and let it get absorbed. And once it starts to get incorporated, Add in the next egg. So we basically have our dry ingredients in a bowl, and then we have our wet ingredients, our buttermilk and our coffee and our vanilla. These wet ingredients can be combined. The way that the mixture is incorporated is you wind up taking about a third of your dry ingredients, just a third by eye, and get them blended into the egg yolk and the butter mixture, and mix it just until it gets combined. Don't overmix it. Really important. Don't turn up the speed too high either. If you really crank up the speed and you have flour in there, you're just going to send flour all over the place and make a big mess. Then our next step is to add in some of our liquids. We're going to take half of our liquid and add it in. Again, just by eye is fine. And then mix that until it gets combined. And once it gets combined, we just simply repeat the process. The, uh, another third of dry ingredients, the following, uh, the last half of the wet ingredients, and then the last third of dry ingredients. Once everything gets just combined, then we go ahead and get it into our cupcake pans and we bake it. We have our cupcake pans lined up with some paper liners. Also really important before you start to prepare your batter, get your oven on, okay? Turn it on to 350 degrees. Just gonna get right on the bottom of the bowl. Wanna mix any dry ingredients that may be stuck on the bottom of the bowl. Just get it to combine very briefly. And now we're ready to scoop it on in. This particular recipe is gonna make 18 cupcakes. I'm just gonna fill up six paper liners. And then we'll pop it into the oven. These guys are gonna bake for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes. It's a good idea to check it at about the 15 minute mark. And we're gonna do a little test to determine doneness. We smooth out the top of the cupcakes by just simply taking our pan, giving it a little shake, giving it a little tap like that. And then into the oven we go. Bring them on out. Should have a nice um, baked 
finish to them, wind up taking a toothpick, get it into the center of the cupcake, and it should come out clean, possibly even one to two crumbs sticking onto the pick. That's fine. With my uh, chocolate buttercream in my pastry bag, I have my cupcake on my uh, doily lined plate, and I'm going to wind up making a really nice big rosette right into the center of the cupcake. I'm gonna hold the bag about a half an inch away from the top of the cupcake, and just give a nice good squeeze, and let that frosting come on out, and spread out until it fills up almost the entire cake, Stop squeezing, give the bag a little pull, just like that. And here I have uh, some sprinkles that have some nice uh, chocolate and vanilla hearts, also combined with some little uh, cylindrical sprinkles called Jimmy's. Gonna sprinkle these guys all over the cupcake, get a couple of those hearts on there too. You can find these little sprinkles at the supermarket. And that is our Devil's Food Cake for Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click other links on the site to find other recipes. Also be sure to subscribe so you can see other treats that I'll be baking. If you can't find something that interests you, go ahead and send an email to requests at mahalo.com. See you soon.